Hi, my name is Dr. Brianna Fox. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Criminology at the University of South Florida. My research tends to take an evidence-based perspective. I believe that the best thing we can do for law enforcement is show them what works best, the most effective and the best policies available. Um, from this, this has informed my research uh, for you know, the entire time I've done it, starting with my PhD at the University of Cambridge, where we started to develop uh, burglary profiles for use in unsolved uh, investigations. This has led to a lot of uh, research on what exactly makes uh, burglary unique and are there certain patterns and why certain people commit offenses and the types of offenders that commit them. We found that there are these links between offense styles and the types of offenders that commit them. This is called a burglary profile. Um, after developing this profile, we realized it wasn't enough just to develop it. We wanted to see how well it worked before giving it back to law enforcement to use in their investigations. So we created the first experiment ever to evaluate the effects of profiling used in active investigations. Results of this experiment showed that the police department that used the burglary profiles solved over 300% more burglaries compared to the departments that did not use the profiles. And we were honored to win the 2014 Excellence in Law Enforcement Research Award from the International Association of Chiefs of Police for this work. So it's been a great experience for me, and I've been thrilled to work with all the agencies that have been participating in this study. The other side of my research is crime prevention. If we can look early on at what makes somebody become an offender, there's hope that we can intervene and potentially prevent that person from you know, this life of crime they might engage in. So um, through the mentorship of Professor David Farrington, I learned a lot about risk factors for criminal behavior. We use these uh, risk factors to identify what is the most likely culprit in terms of turning someone towards a life of crime. Based off of this, we used adverse childhood experiences as our primary risk factors. These are things that are predominantly in the medical field, things like um, child abuse, uh, physical abuse, sexual abuse, neglect, witnessing uh, domestic violence in the home. These things have been shown to lead to very bad health outcomes such as cancer, skeletal uh, injuries, um, bone disease, things that you wouldn't expect to come out of having adverse childhood experiences. So from this we thought it's possible that these adverse childhood experiences could lead to other negative behaviors like criminal behavior. And results of our study from um, our collaboration with the Florida Department of Juvenile Justice showed that's exactly what happened. Children who experience multiple adverse childhood experiences tend to have way higher rates of criminal behavior later in life. For instance, each adverse childhood experience that they engage in increases the risk of serious violent and chronic juvenile behavior by 53%, even when controlling for things such as gender, race, and age of criminal onset. So for us, that was a huge thing to look at in terms of prevention. If we know these things lead to increased risk of criminal behavior, perhaps we can intervene when we see these things happening by using resources such as teachers, nurses, doctors, police officers. When they see these things occurring for children, we can intervene and prevent these children and save them from a life of crime. I was very fortunate to have actual law enforcement experience uh, that informed my research here at USF. And this was not just any law enforcement experience. I got training and active field work with the Federal Bureau of Investigation as a special agent. I started out in the Organized Crime Task Force, which was extremely useful in terms of seeing a wide variety of criminal offenses. I also had experience before that working in the Tampa field office as a research fellow for their field investigations group. And before that, I was a research fellow in the FBI's Behavioral Science Unit in Quantico. All of these showed me the real-world impact of our research, such as what we're doing here at USF. I learned that there are certain limitations that law enforcement face, and by improving on those, we can help make a lot of things, such as crime prevention or crime solving, a lot better for them, more effective. So being able to see that firsthand was a huge impact on me. I also received fantastic training from interview and interrogations to uh, defensive tactics and cybercrime. I use that now to inform my research and grant proposals and of course 
passing it on uh, to my future students um, and not just interrogating those who I think are cheating in my class. Working with undergraduate students is one of my favorite things. I get to engage them and see their paths unfold um, as they, you know, choose where they want to go in life. It's a fantastic opportunity and I'm very thankful I get to do it. One thing that I really have been happy about is our new lab called the Spruce Research Lab. This is something we created to help work with the community and find out what issues they have and how we here at USF can help them to face those challenges and overcome them. Um, this is something that we've been very passionate about and I've been overwhelmed by how many undergraduate and graduate students have been partaking in this and have been showing so much interest and passion towards this as well. Together, we've been able to address several issues, anything from missing persons and youth runaways, things that together we are able to address, but law enforcement alone may not have been able to. Um, this has been a great experience for the undergrads because they get to see the research process from collecting the data, analyzing the data, and then, just like last week, we were able to present our results back to a sheriff's office and show them what we found and how they can use it to better their investigations and crime prevention strategies. It's been a privilege.